honestly, everything that I went through, it has made me the person I am today. I just keep on going. I don't want to quit. I want others to know I play football and I'm tough. I'm looking forward to the over 90 age group. <laughs> I, I won't have as many competitors then. <laughs> Just telling them to keep battling, um, keep moving forward, and eventually you'll strive through it and get, get past it. Yes, I'm an amputee. Yes, I have injuries, but if I want something, I go for it. This series is about people who have overcome some sort of adversity and succeeded in sports. These individuals are doing incredible things and along the way shine a little bit brighter than the rest. Tonight is senior night, um, but there is something else that you guys are wearing on your chest and I thought that uh, we would actually get him here for a game. Oh, no. oh. The return of a teammate. It's amazing. Like. I didn't know this many people were behind me and they've helped me through it, through everything. Bobcats on three, family on six. One, two, three. Bobcats! Four, five, six. Hey, hey, we ready for ya! Stepping back onto the court. With a scar that tells a story. When that day came, I like, I couldn't really process it at first. Like, I was just in shock. In July, Battlefield High School junior Kojo Bansu suffered a stroke. Diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, the standout basketball player had a failing heart and needed a transplant. You don't really understand it until you're, you read it and you're like, oh wow. A week before Christmas, Kojo had a 16-hour surgery. I kept on thinking like, Think good, think good, think positive. The point guard received his new heart. Let's go. <laughs> yes. yeah. mm -hmm. The jump probably doesn't even fit anymore. Yeah. And on this night, his school, A very special appearance. his team, Number 12, welcomed him back. Bobcats on three. One, two, three. Bobcats. He is the heart and soul of this team. The support that Kojo has received from his Battlefield family is pretty special. From the surgical mask worn by the student section to the warm-up t-shirts shown off by his teammates, everybody is excited to have Kojo back at his second home. It felt like, you know, like the transplant, everything never really happened. It felt like everything was just back to normal. A spectator for now, but maybe not for long. All the way. My ultimate goal would be to get back on the court and get better than I was before. An inspiration to us all. Attacking life without boundaries. There's a term, I will and I can. Rose, stand up straight. 27 year old Rose Plesko is doing just that. She has a competitive spirit. She wants to do better. She wants to go faster. Born with intellectual disabilities and epilepsy, the Resta native competes internationally in open water swimming. So my mom started swimming when she was pregnant with me, so I've been swimming all my life. Training with a group called Wave One in the Potomac River at National Harbor with mom right by her side. Just to look up and sometimes our, our faces meet and it's just like, it's just pure heaven to me. Rose is one terrific athlete. Besides open water swimming, she's quite the runner as well. Back in 2011 at the Special Olympics World Games in Athens, Greece, she won the bronze medal in the 1500 meters. Just another perfect example of Rose being able to do anything she puts her mind to. When I got the bronze medal, I almost cried because I worked so hard for it. Rose now focused on starting college and getting that degree. Don't let the people in the past tell you can't do anything because you can do it. Becoming a leader everybody should follow. That strut, that smile says it all. I think he's important to show them that football is bigger than just a game for them. Set, go! 17-year-old Jack Gibson is a football player. I, I get in the game a lot. 
Born with Down syndrome, Jack has gravitated to sports. It's just one season after another, and he sees them doing everything, and he wants to do everything everybody else is doing. Come on, Jack, run! Track and field. <laughs> swimming and a proud member of the W.T. Woodson JV football team. All right, do I have a, a Z oh, yeah, and yeah, H? I, I want others to know I play football and I'm tough. One thing you quickly learn about Jack, he is certainly not shy. He has a self-confidence that is contagious to the rest of his teammates. Jack might not be the star of his football team, but he is truly just one of the boys on the field. He just gives us energy during practice and in the game. He's always just happy. He's jumping around and running around. He just wants to play. Given his limitations, the junior is quite the athlete. Oh, Jack. Jack is simply having the time of his life. I feel Happy insane. Earning the respect of his peers. With his unbridled enthusiasm for life. The inner struggle of being different. Why me out of all the people? Why me? Why do I have to be born like this? Elizabeth Seaton Sr. Adrian Haygood was born with a cleft lip and a cleft palate. It's been hard, like, trying not to let the um, problem like weigh me down. The 18 year old basketball star is tough. <laughs> going through six different surgeries while dealing with bullying at school. My mom always tells me, um, don't worry what other people say, you're beautiful. God made you the way you're supposed to be, so he doesn't make mistakes. Stepping out from the shadows <laughs> and into the light. There is a way uh, that you don't have to be silent. Um, that you can be who you are and there's plenty of people that will love you for who you are. Today, Adrian is in a good place. She has learned to block out those weird stares and the negativity. And she is a very good basketball player. Next year, Adrian will attend Sacred Heart University to major in psychology. And it's no coincidence that Adrian picked a potential career field that she feels like she can already relate to. I really like people who aren't normal because people who are different, I want to work with them and understand what they're going through. Hey, come on, let's go. Imperfections create character. Everybody has flaws, but that makes that person who they are. So like my, what I was born with, it made me who I am as a person today. And that's a beautiful young woman inside and out. One, two, three, see that. Army Specialist Stephanie Morris is what you call a fighter. I've always been competitive, it, whether it was sports or anything else. I'm just a competitive person and I like competing. In June 2013, Stephanie was severely injured in Afghanistan. The incident left four other members of her unit dead. The 27-year-old would eventually have her right leg amputated. There was times I just, I had, I had thoughts like, I mean, what would have happened if I would have just been gone? Like, my life would have been a lot easier. She now spends her days at Walter Reed embracing her new normal. Training in a variety of sports, competing in the Warrior and Invictus games. Now that I have found adaptive sports, like, like, you could, like, as my mom would put it, you can just see me excited and smiled all over again. During her recovery, Specialist Morris has utilized the Army's Warrior Care Transition Program. Over the last 10 years, this program has helped more than 75,000 wounded soldiers. Rehab, recover, and transition is what it's all about. They may look at things uh, from a pretty bleak position, um, but, but they're resilient and we try to support them as best we can to get them back to the point where they, they can look at things and say, hey, I can do it. Stephanie is taking that can-do attitude and trying to become a nurse and a Paralympic athlete. Yes, I'm an amputee. Yes, I have injuries, but if I want something, I go for it. Get out of the way. Stephanie Morris is heading to the top. That sweet sound. Bat hitting ball. The feeling when that ball is coming in and you know you're going to just get, make good contact and rip it to the outfield. 13 year old Kyle Hani appreciates every day on the diamond. When I was sick, I couldn't play, but I was just thinking, like, once I'm not sick, I can play baseball again. At just six years old, the Chantilly native had a three and a half year fight against leukemia. Kyle would beat the disease. I think it certainly built him into a better person without defining him. Cancer hasn't defined him. Children helping children. Kyle is turning his cancer fight 
into a positive, creating Kyle's Camp in 2011. It's an organization that has raised over $2 million for Children's National Medical Center. Let's just say this young man is paying it forward in a big way. I never thought Kyle's Camp would come this far. Um, it's just like a dream come true, sort of. Using his experiences to now motivate children with cancer. Just telling them to keep battling, um, keep moving forward, and eventually you'll strive through it and get get past it. Kyle Haney leaving a legacy much bigger than his success on the diamond.